defensive zone. Here's Bouquet, gains the attacking end. He'll bank it off the boards, chase after it himself. Walsh gets there first, though, backhands it up to Tassie. He'll rainbow that one out to center ice. Collected by Geneev, he'll gain the red line, ring it around the boards. Under three minutes to go now, period one. Bouquet battling deeper. Pilata Chuck in there, Dexheimer as well for Wisconsin. Now a centering pass, Simon Max shoots. That one didn't go, Pucks loose out in front, they score! <laughs> Dylan Wogris finds the loose change, McClellan way out of his net, and he buries that one to get the Nittany Lions. The opener, it's his eighth goal of the season. What a big shot there by Dylan Lugris. First shot of it. Off, off wide and then on a yard sale basically they find the open puck and they just able to put it past McClellan. You just mentioned so far out of his net. One point lead in the Big Ten standings over Wisconsin shaping up for an exciting one versus two matchup next weekend in Madison, Wisconsin. Badgers and Spartans going at it for the Big Ten regular season title and if everything stands right now Michigan State can reestablish a four point lead at the top. Here's D. St. Fowl circling the wagons, drops it for Wash. Wash drives in, out in front, they score! David Cilia keeps his stick on ice, elevates that one to the top shelf, and Wisconsin's on the board, it's a 1-1 hockey game. Good passing from a great faceoff win for the Badgers there. Right in front they'll find David Cilia, right here on, the re uh, on this replay. Well, they're showing a celebration here. So yeah, that's his eighth goal of the season. You'll see this pass come from Lush out in front. That's a textbook hockey play. Go to the front of the goal, keep your stick on the ice, and he's able to angle and elevate with a power play of their own. Face off, puck goes to that near side, far side boards rather. They battle along for it. Stramel chasing Mack. Mack goes down, puck still sitting there. Comes behind Solier's net. Penn State looking for the clear. Puck pops up in the air, comes back for the Nittany Lions. And they can't get it clear just yet. And now it leaks out to neutral ice. A lot of Chuck moves it forward. In the attacking end, Finley. Finley drops for Stramel, who drops for Fitzgerald, who fires and scores! Sixth goal of the year for Christian Fitzgerald. Puts Wisconsin on top, two to one. The Badgers getting a power play goal. And they have the last two. They lead the Nittany Lions here, two to one. Seeing I shot here from Fitzgerald right outside of the circle, had the screen in front as he just lets it rip there. Had three shirts in front of Soulier. He did not really see that puck all the way through. He was able to catch it on the blocker side. That far side of Soulier is, that's a big goal there for Wisconsin in the power play. 2-1 lead here for them. Nice job by Stramel here. He definitely could have taken that shot. It sent a Lex for the drop pass, then goes to the net to provide the screen. Lead when you're goaltender in a situation like this. I'd say just right around the two minute mark. I mean, right now Penn State's been at least a little bit better with cleaning up the scoring opportunities. I mean, over there, we just saw a yawning cage by Wisconsin, but still so much time left to pull a goaltender. You don't go more than two minutes unless you're down by more than two. So here's Sarlo in neutral ice. Buck pin still in the Penn State zone. Stramel trying to win it. Now comes free for Kerwin! Penn State wins a board battle, comes free for Ryan Curry when he just rips one top corner. And Penn State's evened up here at two apiece. Ryan Kerwin grabbing his 13th goal of the season. And just like that, a fortuitous bounce comes off the boards and Kerwin just has a go at it. I don't think McClellan was expecting it. He walks in towards that faceoff dot and an excellent wrist shot from Ryan. That puck, Bucco is out of gas. Palisic drives the net, his shot denied by McClellan. Rebound sitting there and finally he covers up. Boy oh boy, what awesome action back and forth. Cilia rings one off iron and we still have a 2-2 game. 2.43 to play in overtime. Well fans are getting free hockey with their buck, but they're also getting a very entertainment period of overtime here. Both teams to two on ones. One team hits the post, the other doesn't get a clean shot because he's gassed. What a period so far. It's only been almost half of overtime, Mac. It's Gerald versus Doiak on this draw. And the Badgers win it back. Dexheimer. Moves it ahead. Lucius. Carl's back. 
halfway home here in this overtime period. Dexheimer, Lucius will drive the net. Dexheimer in the high slot, driving on the back end. Shot on goal, he scores! Ben Dexheimer spoils senior night, and the Wisconsin Badgers take it 3-2 in overtime. What a backhand that was, Mac. Right through the five hole, I believe, of Solier. Here's the replay. Enters the zone, gets around both guys, and just holds that backhand right through the five hole of Solier. He's going to want to wish that one didn't go through to spoil the senior night here in, ha in Hockey Valley. But what a game by both sides. I mean, both teams really wanted this game but the team that needed it more will come away with the win. Great back and forth overtime, Ben Dexheimer.